But we'll provide that. And we're starting to get a little bit of a spit here. I mean, it's not quite snow, but it's in between like kind a hail a and a snow, yeah? Snane. Yeah, Snane. Yeah. <laughs> Meredith, Matt, Al, Ann, we're all envious of you, Matt, because oh. you got to carry the torch yesterday. Yeah, How cool, cool was that? It, it was one of so the most unbelievable experiences of my life. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. It was a real honor. Also, though, ahead, what we're going to do, you know, you look at some of the sports that are, that are played at the Olympics and you think, I'd like to try that. Mm -hmm. I'd like to try that. Then there's some you look at and think, those mm. people are just playing crazy. <laughs> The aerialists would fit into that latter category, and this morning we're going to catch up with two of them. Wow. Jarrett, Speedy Peterson, and Emily Cook have both made their way up the mountain. We're going to check them out and talk to them in just a couple of minutes. Also, Apollo Anton Ono, one of the most popular U.S. athletes here in Vancouver. And in the coming days, he could become our country's most decorated Winter Olympian ever. We're going to hit the ice with him coming up. And I literally hit the ice. Did you really? So it's you perfect. Know, you, not the first you hit the no, ice a number of times. Exactly. Oh. So. <laughs> All right, but we want to start with the Olympic torch relay. And on Thursday, I did, as Meredith just said, have the honor of taking part in that relay and carrying the Olympic flame on one of its final legs before the opening ceremony. It's been the longest relay of any torch in Olympic history. A 106-day, 28,000-mile journey that's touched even the furthest corners of this country captured its spirit along the way. It has inspired all sorts of people in all kinds of ways. In the end, the torch will pass through the hands of 12,000 runners. I was lucky enough to be one of them. This is your hat. Great. We have beautiful mitts. Do I get to keep these mittens? These yes. are coveted. They are, and they're specific to Torch Bear because they had a grip on it. And your pants and your jacket. All right. You're all set now. We'll see you a little bit later. I'll be back in a second. A little change, and now I'm officially a member of the Olympic move. After suiting up, we gather for a briefing. Rule number one, please, don't forget to smile. If you feel tired, don't be shy. You can switch arms whatever you want. Then it's off to our starting points. As the excitement among my fellow runners and I builds, so too does the energy on the streets of Burnaby. I was Mr. Nonchalant until about 25 minutes ago. We all went around the bus and started talking about our personal stories and how we got here, and, and now I'm just one mass of butterflies. I couldn't be happier. Finally, the moment I'd been waiting for. Congratulations. You don't even notice the rain. It's too fantastic. It's too fantastic. Good luck. It's the longest 300 meters I've ever run in my life. But it's just because it's so exhilarating. It really is. And I hold in my hand wow. a piece of Olympic wow. history yeah. oh. and slide this down. Oh. Look at that. There it is. Oh, man. Wow. You, actually, wow. you, get to, you can actually purchase the torch. You're never allowed. They take the canister, the gas canister out of it, and mm -hmm. cut the line it because you can never light, light this again. Oh, because oh, it's the Olympic Here, flame. grab it. Not take three. it. This would so, get heavy after a while. You're lucky it's only 300 meters that you're running. If it were longer than that, you'd need a new arm. That is cool. Wow. And you it know, says our, Vancouver 2010 right on it, so you'll never forget. Our, our NBC News president, Steve Kapp, has ran with it. Exactly That's right. And the flame went out. No. Oh, no, no, it no, it didn't. didn't. It didn't. No, maybe it went out on NBC, but no, yeah. no, I'm not kidding. Oh, hey, hey, hey. hey. Here, that really is so cool. cool. By the way, I tell you, never clean it. Don't clean the soot really? off it because no, then it becomes a fake then. But if you have the soot on it, that is that's so cool. Congratulations, Matt. Thank you. Matt. It was that a lot of fun. Nice. I got some good on Thank you. Mr. Oker, you have a check of the weather. All right, let's see what's happening.